we are asked to simplify the given radical expressions. A radical expression is not considered simplified if there's a fraction under the radical or if there's a radical in the denominator. For the first example, we have the square root of 100x divided by 5x. The first step should always be to see if the fraction under the radical will simplify. 100x divided by 5x simplifies very nicely because 5x is a factor of 100x. To show this, let's write 100x as 20 times 5x. Notice in this form, we can see that 5x divided by 5x will simplify to 1, and therefore the radical simplifies to the square root of 20. But now we need to simplify the square root of 20 by identifying any perfect square factors of 20. To do this, let's look at the prime factorization of 20, which is 2 times 2 times 5. So the square root of 20 is equal to the square root of 2 times 2 times 5. Notice here we have two factors of 2, which shows 20 contains the perfect square factor of 2 squared, or 4. Before simplifying, let's write 2 times 2 as 2 squared. This is equal to the square root of 2 squared times 5, and the square root of 2 squared simplifies perfectly to 1 factor of 2. The simplified expression is 2 square root 5. Next we have the cube root of 64x squared y to the fifth divided by the cube root of 4y squared. Now this radical expression looks rather messy, so what we'll do in this case is use the radical property shown below in the opposite direction. Notice the property indicates the x root of a divided by the x root of b is equal to the x root of the fraction a over b, which means the quotient of these two cube roots is equal to the cube root of the fraction 64x squared y to the fifth divided by 4y squared. In this form, we will now simplify the fraction and then simplify the resulting cube root. So we have the cube root of 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16. Then we have x squared. Then we have y to the fifth divided by y to the second. Remember when dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents, y to the fifth divided by y to the second is equal to y raised to the power of five minus two, which equals y cubed. So this simplifies to the cube root of 16x squared y to the third. Now to continue simplifying, because we have a cube root, we look for perfect cube factors of the radicand. Well, the prime factorization of 16 is four factors of two. So we have two times two times two times two. Notice how here we have three equal factors of two. Then we have x squared, which does not contain any perfect square factors. But let's go ahead and write x squared as x times x. Then we have y to the third, which is equal to y times y times y. Notice here we have three equal factors of y. Let's write this one more time using exponents before we simplify. Let's write this as the cube root of two cubed times two times the x squared, which will not simplify, times y cubed. And again, here we have three equal factors of two and three equal factors of y. The cube root of two cubed is equal to one factor of two. The cube root of y cubed is equal to one factor of y, and we still have the cube root of 2x squared. This is the simplified radical expression, and because the index is odd, there's no need for an absolute value. I hope you found this helpful.